What's up guys and welcome back to Whiskey Throttle. If you've been around the channel now for a little while, you've probably seen two or three videos on this Harbor Freight backhoe. I had one that was in the backlog that I completely forgot about that we're going to release today and it's going to be the very first project that I did with this. Hope you all enjoyed the video and I hope you find it useful. And there again, I do recommend this machine though I've had a couple of issues with it. So y'all take a look for yourselves. Do not judge me by how I operate this as in this video it was the very first time that I used it. So how do you move this thing around? It's not like an excavator or a backhoe. It's meant to be towed around. Well, you use the bucket and the boom to lift yourself up and pull yourself around to where you need to be. You could just connect it to your tractor, your four-wheeler, your truck and move it around, but that's a little bit harder than moving around with a bucket, in my opinion, especially like what I'm going to be doing today, which is going to be a project in my yard. No reason to pull my truck back here or my four-wheeler to get this thing connected. I'm just going to use the boom to get around, as most people do. It is the very simple four joysticks. This one over here is going to be your boom to the left, boom to the right. This one's going to be up and down. That one's going to be in and out. And then you got your curl of your bucket, as you can see right there. Self-explanatory. This is not like an excavator with just two joysticks. So it is a bit slower. However, with a smaller motor, uh, you're not going to want to operate more than one hydraulic cylinder at a time anyways, because it just doesn't have the power for it. So could I have buried these by hand? Absolutely, I could have. However, I wanted to start with a small project, as mentioned, to learn the machine. I think I've got the hang of the controls already. I've got to do a little bit of work to do to get used to digging and uh, I guess you would say articulating the bucket a little bit uh, to get a be better, more full scoop. Uh, it was a lot more tricky than I thought it would be to make a small hole than it would be to make a long ditch. So I've got some learning to do, guys. 
and that's all right. We'll see if we can figure out a couple more things. As I do the projects with the machine, I'm going to be showing them to y'all on this channel, so please be sure that you're subscribed.